Hi, this is Tamim Azizada with Vanguard Instruments, and in this video I'll walk you through how to perform a winding resistance test with the Vanguard TRM203 Transformer Winding Resistance Meter. Before we can start performing a winding resistance test, we'll need to make the proper connections to the device under test per this illustration. Once the proper connections have been made, we'll start from the TRM203's main menu. Press the 1 key from the main menu to run a test. Press the 1 key to perform a resistance test. We are not testing an LTC or voltage regulator, so we'll press the 2 key for no. We're now asked what type of transformer we're testing. We'll press the 1 key to select delta. From this screen we can select the test current. We'll select 10 amps by pressing the 3 key. We are now given the option to convert our readings to standard temperature. You can select this option if you know the winding material's temperature constant value. Let's press the 1 key to select yes. From this menu you can select the provided values for copper and aluminum windings or manually enter the constant value by pressing the 3 key. We'll press the 1 key for copper since our transformer uses copper windings. Now you can adjust the temperature for the device under test. You can press the up or down arrow keys to increase or decrease the temperature respectively. Then press the enter key. You can now adjust the reference temperature by using the up or down arrow keys. Once set, press the enter key. Press any key to continue. Now press the start key to start the test. The TRM will perform some internal calibration and then energize the transformer. The TRM determines when the resistance reading is stable and displays the resistance value on the LCD screen. Press the enter key to save the readings for the current phase. The TRM will continue to test the next phase and display the test results once the readings have stabilized. Press the enter key to save the readings for this phase. The TRM will continue to test the last phase and display the results when stabilized. Press the enter key to save the readings. If you would like to run another test, you can do so by pressing the 1 key. We'll press the 2 key for no. Let's save our test record by pressing the 1 key. Press any key to return to the main menu. Now, let's print the test results by pressing the 2 key for the setup menu. Press the 2 key to print the record that's in the unit's working memory. The test report will be printed on a unit's built-in thermal printer, and we will then be returned to the main menu. Now, let's take a look at the test results printout. <laughs> 